Kevin of Loxley is a big fan of bacon, so it shouldn't be surprised that he brought with him today Oink by Activision for your Atari 2600 system. Let's go ahead and take Oink, pop it in my 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Whee! Oink was published by Activision and carries the copyright year of 1983. It was programmed by Mike Lorenzen, who previously made Circus Atari for the 2600 and later would help Accolade bypass the lockout chip in the Sega Genesis for some of their early release games. Oink brings the story of the three little pigs to the 2600. You take turns controlling the pigs, protecting them from Bigelow B. Wolf. Oink is a single screen action game for one or two players. In the two player mode, players can either take turns as the pigs or they can go against each other with each player taking a turn as the wolf attacking the other player trying to prevent them from earning points. When the game starts, you control movement of the pig with the joystick. As the wolf blows away bits of your home, you can grab blocks from above by pressing the button and drop them by releasing the button into one of the empty damage areas below. If you try to release the block into an undamaged area, you'll need to press the button again to drop it. When the difficulty switch is in the B position, you can drop the block from any height, but in the A position you have to go all the way to the bottom to release it. You must take one of the available blocks from above until you have taken each one from that row, at which point you will gain a new supply of blocks. If the wolf is able to contact you with his breath, he will begin to pull you down. If he pulls you down all the way to the bottom, you lose a pig and move on to the next of the three houses. If the barrier stops him from pulling you down all the way, you can go back to work, but if you are holding a block, you will lose it and have to pick up another. Point-wise, you get points every time you drop a block into an empty space below. As you use up blocks and get new rows of blocks, the point values of those blocks go up. If you manage to earn 25,000 points, you could have sent in to Activision to earn an Oinkers badge. You get three pigs in the game, one for each house, starting with the house made of straw, followed by the house of sticks and ending with the house of bricks. Sadly, there is no house of pancakes, and if you lose all three pigs, your game is over and there's no way to earn extra oinkers. Graphically speaking, I thought the game was extremely impressive for the system. The pigs and wolf look great, and I even thought the curly tail on the pig was a nice touch. The limited music and sounds in the game worked for what they were. Family friendly wise, the game is pretty tame, except for the wolf capturing the pigs, making them disappear. Mmm, bacon. At the time of my research on eBay, loose copies were going for $6, complete copies were going for $12 to $18, and new copies were going for about $20, and those prices include shipping. So what did I think of Oink on the VCS? While I thought the graphics were top notch, I found that playing the game felt more like a chore than a game. Pick up a block, drop the block, miss opening, drop block again, repeat. I could see the game being more entertaining as a two player game with the ability for players to control the wolf, but since I rarely have a chance to play retro games with the second player, this didn't help my experience. So where am I going to rank Oink? Well, sorry little piggies, but you're going to go wee 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 all the way to the bottom of the charts. I will give it an edge over Firefighter at 64, but I'd rather create some more music and brain games at 63. So out of the 71 games I've ranked on the 2600, Oink is squealing in at 64. Oink looks great, but plays like a chore. If you enjoy retro-related videos, would you please click the like and subscribe buttons. You can also follow me both on Facebook or Twitter, and I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. You can find more retro podcasts and videos at theretrojunkies.com. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the No Gamer. Take care, and remember, bacon. Always remember, bacon. <laughs>